All right, lads, so it seems James Goddard has been arrested under a public order offence for calling Anna Sewsbury a Nazi. Is we have to be absolutely... I do object to being called a Nazi, actually. Right. Um, well, apologies Sorry, to you if I, you're I, offended by I, what you're listening to. I just to, think this is astonishing. <laughs> this, is, this is what has happened to our country, actually. This is what's happened to our country, but anyway. But in the same interview, she calls everyone who's wearing a yellow vest near enough a fucking fascist. Well, this is seriously worrying. These, yeah. these people are members of, a lot of them, the English Defence League. They support people like the so-called Tommy Robinson man. These are fascists, and overwhelmingly, it seems as well, many of them are racists. They have no regard for law at all. And I'm afraid the truth is, is Brexit has unleashed these people. This is Britain now. This is not the Britain I know and love. And these people do not represent our country and they need sorting out. I'm not sure what she means by the need sorting out, but in my opinion, what you need to do is go out there and talk to them and listen to what they've got to say. Not all the yellow vest protesters are on the right. A lot of them are on the left. Even some feminists in there. Obviously the wrong type of feminist. But look around at the crowd when I play this next clip. Just look at the crowd and think fascists. Are they fascists? these far left retards don't understand what community means to the working class they haven't got money to go out so they go around to each other's houses and things like that to talk to each other in the street and the far left don't give a fuck about mass immigration because it doesn't affect them they don't have to put up with it these are our communities they're destroying and we've got to put up with wankers like owen jones calling us a fascist all day long 
Over 15,000 people marched against Tommy Robinson and his fascists. Only 3,000, some are saying only 1,500 marched with Tommy Robinson, that convicted fraudster and thug and his fascists. A total and utter humiliation for Tommy Robinson and his band of fascists. They didn't mobilise barely any people on the streets of this capital, despite all their resources, all the money being ploughed in from the US and elsewhere. This is a historic day. They came out in tiny derisory numbers, whilst we, those who oppose the scapegoating of migrants and refugees and Muslims, uh, for all the injustices caused by the people at the top of society in this broken system that has to go, we have outmobilized by a massive, massive margin. A humiliation for Tommy Robinson and a humiliation for fascism and a victory for those standing against racism. Come on, don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 And it is bullshit. He's not fighting against racism or fascism. He's fighting against the working class. He's a traitor to the British people. Classism is the last acceptable form of bigotry. They hate the working class. They cannot stand us. They see us as being inferior to them in every single way. They are the definition of elitist. They believe that the working class is far too thick to run anything and therefore should have no say in how the countries run. And that is why they think Brexit is so utterly catastrophic. It's we're not the ones causing the divide. We voted in a democratic society and won fair and square. You are the ones who are attacking the working class constantly because you just can't take that you lost and see that you lost to a group that you see as being inferior. That's right, Janaya. People like Owen Jones, the champagne socialist, he doesn't give a fuck about our communities. It's not his community that's affected, it's the working class community. So he don't give a fuck. As long as he can get his virtue points in. Owen Jones works for the mainstream media, and we know how eager they are to lie about us. Take any chance they can. The only reason why we have to come is because of how bad they are. When you describe this crowd, how are you going to describe them in your news report? Uh, well, we're, we're, we're going to call them uh, well, you've caught what you've labelled yourself, which is an anti-extremist movement. When your news report comes out on this, yes. will you mention the word far right? Uh, if, people, if people have labelled it as such, no, then we have to not. reflect that. You, yeah. No, you, no you, you should report and reflect what you've met and seen today. Have you seen far-right demonstrators? Uh, but, but if, if, if people, if people label it as such... If I label you as a nonce, would you report that you're right. a nonce? Uh, no, there's no truth in this end. The story, the what you story. do is word association, which is what all of your media do against ordinary people. These okay. are all ordinary people who have come out to demonstrate. You will do word association of racism, of far right. You've got ordinary people out demonstrating against terrorism, and you, every time the mainstream media, you brand it, you brand them, and it's not fair. It's not right, and I'm you know, and you know that because you're on this demonstration. So, equally, I'm, 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 all equally, I'm sure you know where the, those labels come from. You have. You know, time, calls for tighter immigration, that is a right-wing rhetoric. So calls for tighter immigration against Islamic terrorism is a right-wing rhetoric. In fact, the Labour Party said talk about immigration, tighter controls on immigration. Everyone does. Right. What do you mean a right-wing rhetoric? How's that a right-wing rhetoric? Well, people would say that. That, that is so, by... be so, because, so because this group talks about terrorism and talks about controlling borders, that means they're far right. Uh, it's a far right, yeah, they could be. Yeah. If had, uh, <laughs> you yeah. see, this is what you have against. If it, this is what you have against. This is BBC. So if someone identifies as wanting to stop Islamic terrorism and controlling your borders, it's far right. It would be labelled as such. It's come by people like you. But it's my opinion is absolutely invalid. It's about getting... You're the... reporting for the BBC. You're lying for the BBC. You are officially fake news and you're demonising so many innocent people. Right. You make it impossible for people to talk. You, and, you're, and you do that. You're, you, you, that's... The left feel it's acceptable to go around lying about people because the ends justify the means at the end of the day for them. Even people like Jordan Peterson has to put up with people calling him either alt-right or a Nazi or something like that. Not to kind of do the thing where everything is kind of compared to, to, to Hitler. But this is like neutrally playing uh, a speech by, by Hitler or, or Milo Yiannopoulos from Gamergate. This is the kind of thing that departmentally, in terms of like critical communication studies and in terms of the course of what we're trying to do, is diametrically opposed to everything that we've been talking about in the lecture. Well, James Goddard shouldn't be arrested for calling someone a Nazi. Whilst I believe it to be wildly inaccurate, but he still shouldn't be arrested for just saying something. A Nazi is not somebody who believes that nations should keep immigration to a minimum. A Nazi is not somebody who doesn't agree with diversity quotas. A Nazi is not somebody who believes that the ideology of Islam has some dodgy bits. A Nazi is not somebody like me who thinks that everyone should be entitled to free speech, irrespective of how nasty their ideas might be. 
I know there's a lot more I could say on this, but I'm going to get off and I'll catch you guys later.